Welcome back to Tech Tech. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles. A new military weapon made its debut this week in Washington, and these are one of those cool science fiction type weapons. Uh, we're not going to see this in the public domain anytime soon, but it's great for our men and women overseas, and for that matter, protecting us around the globe. Uh, joining us live is our defense specialist, War Games columnist, Allison Barry. She's in New York this week, always traveling someplace, but she's here to talk about the Navy's new rail gun that fires projectiles six times the speed of sound. Uh, it'd be nice to be able to do uh, or to move somehow on a machine to get us uh, to Mars six times the speed of sound. Um, actually, I think we may be approaching that, but uh, Mach 6. In any case, it's phenomenal. The fact that you can do a, a Star Wars style railgun that speed. Uh, Allison is joining us. Allison, so I, I guess my first question is do we need something that fires that fast? Uh, yes, it's an immensely powerful weapon, and why wouldn't we want our forces to have every advantage uh, when they're out there uh, defending and protecting our country? Uh, it's so powerful, like you mentioned, it's incredibly, impossibly fast. Mach 6 might sound like just a number we're throwing out, but let's put it in a bit of perspective. Our fastest manned plane, which is the Blackbird, uh, flies at about Mach 3, so that's twice as fast. And why is this speed important? Because this sort of weapon uses its extreme speed to eliminate and destroy targets rather than conventional explosives. Uh, so it's, it's pretty fabulous. We've so got some great um, video, too, demonstrating just how powerful that speed is. Is it? I guess my question is, I, we, I've seen the Aegis system at work, I know you have as well, which is our, you know, our anti-missile system, basically uh, the old missile command type video game, uh, a Star Wars type thing, bullet on bullet, which works. Uh, is this the same type of idea where if a missile's coming towards a ship or towards a target, that this new railgun can literally just obliterate it? Yes. So uh, the idea is that it would be mounted on U.S. Navy vessels, and uh, it could defend against uh, threats coming from the water, from the air, and from the land. So it, it's very, very versatile weapon. Uh, and it has a lot of other advantages, too, Adam, because, because it uses electromagnetic energy, that force, uh, to propel the projectile at such impossibly fast speeds. Uh, it reduces the need for carrying uh, conventional explosives like on the on the vessel, so that there's a safety benefit there. And also downrange, because it uses extreme force, like it's extreme speed to destroy a target, it, it reduces the possibility of unexploded ordnance on a battlefield, which is terribly important as well. So there's a safety benefit. But also, let's touch on cost, if you don't mind. Uh, the cost, it's looking like, I, this is going to sound impossible, but it's in, indeed fact, it's looking to be like one one-hundredth of the cost of our current systems to operate. Uh, the cost of these projectiles because wow. of the methodology is, is that game changing. So in a time of fiscal austerity, fantastic news for our military. So is it like a gun? So a lot of our viewers haven't obviously been on a destroyer or, or a naval ship of any type. Uh, maybe they've seen some video and movies and that kind of thing. Uh, on a ship, you know, as you've seen, um, destroyer or whatever happens to be, um, cruiser and the such, you've got missiles and, and the silos that are in the deck. You've got, obviously, the anti-aircraft guns, and you've got different caliber of weapons as well. Um, is this a machine gun looking? I mean, what's, what does the rail gun look like? What does it fire? We say rail gun, but in layman's terms, what does that mean? Well, uh, we can take a look at, we've got some images. Uh, I should mention that this uh, electromagnetic railgun has been developed by BAE Systems with ONR, the Office of Naval Research. And for the first time this week, the reason why we're talking about it is it's particularly timely. They've been making lots of big advances over the last couple of years. The program's been underway since uh, for several years now. Uh, but uh, this week, for the first time in our nation's capital, the public will have a chance to take a look at it. Uh, it why is it important? You, you're talking about the different sort of options we have on a Navy vessel. Well, one of the things I love about this is that it really enhances reach, Adam. So if you look at something like the MK-45, which you'll find on a lot of Navy vessels, um, part of this program is developing something called the hypervelocity projectile, which is a big fancy way of saying a new type of um, uh, ammunition. And what's cool about it is that while they're developing it for the electromagnetic railgun, it's also going to be compatible with our current systems, like the MK-45. And from the data that I was looking at, it could increase the range on an MK-45 up to twice as much as what it currently has, with the same number of sort of 20, 20 rounds, um, uh, so if, you know, firing a maximum. So it's, it's incredibly game-changing, not just uh, the advances they're making aren't just right. going to apply the electromagnetic railgun, big mouthful, but also to our other systems that you were touching on. 
You know, looking at some of the stuff from your article, which is uh, on foxnews.com, of course, and it gives you the numbers as we, as we go to break here. It says uh, the, basically that the, the projectile will be 24 inches long, weigh 28 pounds. So it gives you a little bit of an idea of, of the size of this thing, and obviously it's a heck of a lot safer to, to use and safer for not only our men and women on, on the ship itself, but also uh, innocents out in the field who might uh, come across the after effects of this. So, exactly. Allison Barry, very cool. Uh, you want to learn more about this article and more in depth about this new uh, rail gun and the fantastic technology behind it on foxnews.com. You also can find, there it is right there, the U.S. Navy's new Star Wars style rail gun. Hits Mach 6, double, as Allison says, will we fly right now in our fastest jet. And also you can find all the other articles on foxnews.com that Allison has done in regards, to in regards to military technology and some of the cool things out there. And some of the stuff you're actually going to see, if not already, uh, eventually in the public domain. So, Allison, thanks for joining us from New York. We appreciate it as always. Thank you for having me. All right. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and you're watching Tech Take.